The city of Lethbridge is in the center of southwestern Alberta's attractions, including the Rocky Mountains on our western horizon. Two hours south of the Calgary International Airport, Lethbridge, Alberta is located in a perfect position to host visitors from around the province and across the country. Nearby are two World Heritage Sites within a one and a half hour radius. Served by the Lethbridge County Airport, 47 commercial flights are scheduled each week, plus private charter services. Lethbridge relies on excellent provincial highways in every direction. With all this in our favor, it makes it easy to choose Lethbridge for your next sporting event. Lethbridge is a city unlike any other, and it's our people who make it so. You can be certain Lethbridge residents will make your visit to our city a memorable one. Provincial, national and international sport organizations have chosen Lethbridge to host their sporting events. Lethbridge is home of both the Lethbridge Sport Council, your one-stop shop for sport, and the Alberta Sport Development Center Southwest, striving for sport excellence. Lethbridge is the service and commercial center of Southern Alberta. So while in Lethbridge, you'll enjoy fine accommodations. Our city boasts the recent completion of many new hotel and motel facilities that are sure to please guests to this region. We have about 2,000 beds, including hotels and post-secondary school dorms, as well as a range of venues to accommodate a convention for 700 or an intimate meeting for a few. Restaurants with a variety of cuisine, entertainment all year round, and shopping. These advantages, combined with the incredible variety and quality of this region's historical sites and resources, will ensure the success of your event. Lethbridge has a rich history in sport. Did you know that the Lethbridge Curling Club, which started in 1887, was the first curling club in Alberta? It has an enviable history of successfully hosting sporting events, including past Canada Winter Games, Alberta Summer and Winter Games, the Alberta Plus 55 Winter Games, the Scotties Tournament of Hearts, and a multitude of other significant sporting and cultural events and competitions. The key to our success is a rich, enthusiastic, and experienced volunteer base. So I believe one of the keys to success uh, of Lethbridge hosting some significant events is the volunteers. Jody Melly has been the host chairperson for many successful events in Lethbridge in the past and for some in the future. The community spirit that we have and the top-notch facilities that we, we are able to host some of these events. Uh, my experience has been with, uh, I've co-chaired the 2005 Scott Tournament of Hearts, which is the Provincial Ladies Curling, 2007 Scotties Tournament of Hearts, and I think we were able to show what we could do here in Lethbridge as we're getting looking forward to hosting the 2012 Ford World Women's Curling. Lethbridge is large enough to successfully host major events, yet not too big that smaller sporting events get lost. We enjoy one of the highest amounts of sunshine in the country, with more than 320 days of sunshine per year. Lethbridge is well known for its affordability and short commute times. You can get anywhere in the city within 15 minutes. Yeah, one of the nice things about Lethbridge is, is the fact that it is, is a nice, tight, confined community. Diane Bolton works for Lethbridge Transit, and her experience took her to Vancouver as the transportation manager of the 2010 Winter Olympics. So we can get people from point A to point B for participants and, and different events and functions. Um, unlike some of the situations that, that I saw when I was working out at the Olympics where we were moving uh, large numbers of people um, uh, 90 minutes uh, from the greater Vancouver area all the way up to Whistler and back again. Um, so we huge numbers of people, lots of traffic, lots of congestion, very, very tight. Lethbridge, on the other hand, is a con confined space, not a lot of traffic, not a lot of congestion. We can easily get from, from the west side to the, to the south side and back again to all the different facilities that we have. The citizens of Lethbridge work together to ensure that sport is available to help youth develop. Our City Council has played a role by contributing at the organizational level and by providing excellent facilities for sport. The NMAX Centre was built as a lasting legacy of the 1975 Canada Winter Games and beginning in 2010 received a $34 million upgrade. It's home of the Lethbridge Hurricanes, 
host to an annual Old Timers Hockey Tournament, and will be the venue of the 2012 World Women's Curling Championship. The Service Sports Centre houses two regulation size indoor soccer pitches with grandstand seating for 2,000. This quality facility has been host to many provincial and national competitions. The Lethbridge Kiyodokan Judo Club, founded in 1952, moved into their new dojo in 2006. Lethbridge has hosted many international, national events here within the city. Mike Tamura is Vice President of Judo Canada and is the head coach of the Lethbridge Judo Club. Lethbridge has a great history and tradition of having great volunteers, people that are committed to uh, a high level of uh, hospitality within the city. And so I think that's what draws people from all across Canada is the fact that so many uh, good people come and volunteer their time and efforts to make it the best event possible for whatever we host here. So it's been really good for Lethbridge. Home of the Lethbridge College Kodiaks, the physical education complex at our college includes a 2200 square meter Val Mattioti Gymnasium. Spitz Stadium has hosted many baseball events over the years, including farm clubs for Major League Baseball. It's home to the WMBL's Lethbridge Bulls and the Junior Little League Canadian Championships. Lloyd Nolan Memorial Yard is one of the finest amateur baseball parks in Canada and gives Lethbridge a brilliant one-two punch of premier baseball parks that are just a couple of the great sporting facilities that our city offers. I remember even growing up in Lethbridge and attending national level tournaments when I couldn't compete but where I was involved as a volunteer. Tyler Boris is a member of the Lethbridge Police Service and a former member of the Canadian Judo team. And doing that really gave me um, a goal, you know. I wanted to achieve that level. I wanted to be a part of it in a competitive sense and not just in a volunteer sense. And. Uh, Lethbridge Judo Club has hosted a lot of different both junior and senior level national tournaments and it really gives everybody involved in the sport an opportunity to see that higher level of competition and gives them something to strive towards. The Lethbridge Special Olympics has been active since 1980 and was the first chapter in southern Alberta. The Sharing Sports Park includes four soccer fields and two rugby fields. The Old Man River Valley is a hub for sport venues, including the Lethbridge Fish and Game Range, which is made up of seven shooting ranges, and Softball Valley, a complex with 11 red shale diamonds and four regulation-sized beach volleyball courts. The West Lethbridge Centre houses two new high schools, each with gymnasiums with large spectator capacity. On the University of Lethbridge campus, home of the University of Lethbridge Pronghorns, the First Choice Savings Wellness Centre has a 1,200 square meter gymnasium. The Max Bell Aquatic Centre, one of Lethbridge's premier facilities, offers a diving pool and swimming pools with variable depths. Completed in 2009, the Community Sports Stadium has a state-of-the-art track and field facility with an eight-lane synthetic track and an artificial turf sports field for football, soccer and rugby. It has permanent seating for 2,000 spectators and is the host venue for the 2011 Football Canada Cup. Whatever your event might be, the City of Lethbridge has the facilities and we have the people to make everything run smoothly. For people from other sides of uh, parts of the province, I want to assure you that when you come to Lethbridge, you will be warmly received. Bob Tarlick is the former mayor of Lethbridge and the director of volunteers for the 2012 Alberta Summer Game. We have a long tradition of holding games of this nature and we do it very well. When people leave Lethbridge after games, they always say that was a good experience for us. Uh, from the point of view of my responsibility with volunteers, uh, I can tell you that our, response, our goal is to recruit and train 3,000 volunteers who will make the, the Lethbridge Games experience as rewarding and fun and, and pressure-free as possible. Find out how you can make Lethbridge the host city of your event that will leave memories with the participants for years to come.